ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kapamilya all over the online world. What is up, you guys? I welcome you to Mathdali School at Home Edition. Ako po si Kuya Robbie, not a tito. Let me re- Did I remove this. Wag na muna. Or pwede rin classmate. How are you guys feeling? Good? Right now, let's have this new lesson for today, which is converting common units of mass measure. Alam nyo ba na whatever we see has mass? Yung TV sa sala, yung gulong sa kotse, yung dumbbell sa gym, yung plato sa kusina, lahat yan may mass. Ano nga ba ang mass? Ito ang uh, exact definition niya. Mass is the amount of matter a thing contains. Repeat. Mass is the amount of matter a thing contains. We can measure mass in terms of grams, pwede, and kilograms. Gumagamit tayo ng bathroom scale, weighing scale o timbangan para makuha ang mass ng isang object. E, ano ba tong mass na to? Ano ba tong gram na to? Tong kilogram na to? Para mas maitindihan po natin ng kapamilya, mga classmate, panoorin natin to. Ang buhat naman eh, ha? Dirado ka na. 
Review lang tayo ah. A gram is used to measure the weight or mass of very light objects. Like, G is short for gram. Okay? E ano man, ano naman yung kilograms. Kapag nagkaroon na tayo ng 1,000 grams, that's the only time when we have a kilogram. 1 kilogram dahil 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. Kung ang gram ay G, ano naman ang kilogram? Kg. That's the short term of kilogram. Ginagamit natin ang kilogram to measure the weight or mass of heavier objects. Yung dictionary is about 1 kilogram. Okay? Maraming bagay sa paligid natin that can be measured by grams and kilograms at maraming situation in our daily lives kung saan natin nagagamit yan. Diba, kanina nakita nyo, kahit pala sa pamamalengke, nagagamit yung grams at kilograms. Saan ba ginagamit yung, yung pagtitimbang? Like, sa katawan, pwede. When you're trying to lose weight or gain weight. When you buy meat, ang dami. Daming pwede. Ngayon naman, samaan nyo akong mag-grocery sa Mathvalley Online Marketplace. And let's test our skills sa pag-convert ng grams at kilograms. Anong nangyari sa boses ko? <clears throat> Ayan, bumalik. Okay. Pumunta na tayo. Dito tayo sa ating M... Oh, wow. It's called the mom. The Mathdali Online Marketplace. In other words, it's the mom. Tingnan natin. May ilang gulay at prutas lang ako na kailangan bilhin. Ha? Ang nasa listahan ko ay... Check natin. Mm, 2 kilograms of kalabasa. 5 kilograms of eggplant. 11,000 grams of mango. 15,000 grams of pakwan. Unahin natin yung kalabasa dahil yun yung nasa ano eh, Mahdali online uh, marketplace sa listahan natin. Eh. At may konti tayong twist na gagawin. Bawat bibili nating item ay may weight o timbang at kailangan nating ibigay ang katumbas itong weight in terms of grams or kilograms. Kung grams yung binigay, convert natin into kilograms. Kung kilograms yung binigay, convert natin into grams. Game ka na ba? Ah, game na! Alright. Ang una natin kailangan ang 2 kilograms of kalabasa. 2 kilograms of kalabasa is equal to ilang grams. Kung meron tayong 1,000 grams in every kilogram, multiply natin ang given, yung number sa taas, sa 1,000. And that is how we convert kilograms into grams. 2 times 1,000 is ilan? 2,000 grams. 2 kilograms of kalabasa is 2,000 grams. Ops! Teka lang. Di ba naalala niyo yung technique natin dati? Kung tingnan yung ilang zero sa grams, pag magdadagda, oh, pag kinonvert mo ang kilograms to grams, mas lumalaki siya, di ba? Uh, may napapansin ba kayo? Dinadagdagan ng ilang zero. Tatlo. Tatlo, no? Galing. <laughs> okay, check natin. Kalabasa, check. Eggplant naman. 5 kilograms of eggplant is ilang grams? Paano nga ulit mag-convert ng kilograms to grams? Di ba dapat mas sumalaki siya? Multiply the number of kilograms by 1,000. Kaya 5 kilograms multiplied by 1,000 grams, we have 5,000 grams. Pwede rin natin gamitin ang ating shortcut. Tukulad na sabi natin, dahil may three zeros ang 1,000, maglalagay tayo o magdugdugdong tayo ng three zeros sa ating given. 
So, meron tayong 5, which is the given. Then, ia-affix or dadagdagan natin ng tatlong zeros sa katabi niya. And we multiply, uh, then, we get 5,000. 5 times 1,000 is 5,000. Mas madali, di ba? Or, mas madali, di ba? Check natin ang eggplant. Ngayon naman, eh, kailangan natin ng mangga. 11,000 grams of mango. 11,000 grams of mango is ilang kilograms. Huh. Ba teka? Kanina, kilogram to gram. Ngayon naman, gram to kilogram. Anong sinabi natin dati? Kapag smaller of uh, smaller unit of measure to bigger unit of measure, anong gagawin natin? Sige. Division. Okay. We divide the number of grams naman ngayon by 1,000. Dahil nga, meron tayong 1,000 grams sa isang kilogram. Meron tayong 11,000 grams divided by 1,000 grams. The answer is 11. And again, ako, very particular ako sa label. 11 what? 11 kilograms. Pwede rin natin gamitin yung uh, division technique sa given na 11,000. Anong gagawin natin? Tatanggalin natin. Kung kanina, nagdagdag tayo ng tatlong zero, ngayon, tatanggalin natin yung tatlong zero. Or remove the decimal point three places to the left. Okay? And now, kung titignan natin, ayan o, oh, 11,000 divided by 1,000, kinansin natin yung zero, parehong makukuha natin sagot, 11 kilograms. Tapos na yung uh, manga natin. Ah, tingnan natin yung um, pakwan. Yan. I like this mom. The Magdali Online. How do you call that? Marketplace. Okay. Pakwan. Sarap yan. Paano ulit mag-convert ng grams to kilograms? Divide, divide. Divided by. Okay? Divide natin ang given na 15,000 by 1,000. Or, we move three places going to the left sa ating 15,000 or cancel out the zeros and uh, makukuha natin ay 15. Okay? We get 15 kilograms of pakwan. Yan! Tingnan natin yung listahan natin. Kita natin na meron tayong uh, pakwan, may mangga, ano pa ba? Meron tayong kalabasa, meron tayong eggplant. Um, I think it's high time for us. For a quiz time. Kasi, galing, -galing yun eh. Let's have um, our Math Delete quiz time. Question number one. Si Christine weighs 40 kilograms. What is her weight in grams? 400 grams? Is it 4,000 grams? 40,000 grams? Or 44,000 grams? Go! During these times. And when this is all over, I, I can't wait to see you in the studio. Okay? Konti na lang. Ang ating oras. 3, 2, 1. Thank you, Sis, for the time. The correct answer is letter letter C. Tulad ng karamihan ng uh, ating mga kapamilya. May mga nagsabi ng A, B. Pwede kayong bumawi later on. Pero sa lahat ng mga nakakuha ng letter C. Hello, hello. Shower. Hello, hello. Yan. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Sa lahat ng mga hindi nakakuha ng tamang sagot, it's okay. We can review your answers once again later on. And marami pang pagkakataon. Pero to the ones who got the correct answer, Congratulations for getting the correct answer. It's 40,000 grams. Paano natin nakuha yun? Since we have 40, tapos magko-convert tayo from bigger unit of measure to smaller, we multiply. And since meron tayong multiplication hack, if we 
convert kilograms into grams, ang math dali natin, add three zeros. So, from 40 kilograms, we make it to 40,000 grams. Okay? Question number two. Okay. Meron akong 60,000 grams of pineapple. What is the weight of uh, this one in kilograms? Is it A, 1 kilogram, B, 6 kilograms, C, 10 kilograms, or D, 60 kilograms? 30 seconds, go. And kanina, we converted from uh, kilograms to grams. Ngayon, grams to kilograms. So what do we do? We divide. Ayun na yung sagot, guys. Oh. Tinitingnan tayo. Sabi niya, dito ako. Okay, time is up. Correct answer is letter D. Letter D, 60 kilograms or 60 kg. Kapag nagko-convert tayo ng grams to kilograms, we divide, di ba? So, we divide the number of grams, uh, 1,000, 60,000, divided by 1,000. Answer is 60. Or, tulad ng uh, technique natin kanina, just take out the three zeros or move the decimal place to the left. Tatlong beses. 1, 2, 3, and we get 60. Don't forget the label, 60 kilograms. Meron pa. Meron pang isang item tayo. Let's compare. Is 8,000 grams of guava greater than, less than, or equal to 8 kilograms of guava. 30 seconds to find out the correct answer. Go. Ano ba? 8,000 grams greater than, less than, equal to 8 kilograms of guava. Hmm. Just thinking, no? Baka pwede... Pwede naman mag magpadala ng guava dito. May nabibili bang guava ngayon? Panahon ba ng guava this summer? Ang gusto kong bumili. Okay. Time is up. The correct answer is equal. Bakit? Paano nakuha yun? Kapag kinonvert natin ng 8,000 grams to kilograms, we get 8. Parehong pareho lang. Or, if we multiply 8 kilograms kapuntang grams, we multiply it by 1,000, makuha nyo ay 8,000 grams. Parehong pareho lang. Diba? Galing! Okay? To all the people in Kumu, in Facebook, I will see you again next week. Ako po, si Professor or Ninong Robby. <laughs> At kapag nahihirapan po kayo mag-convert, balik-balikan nyo lang yung ating uh, episode for today, yung ating mga lesson and keep on practicing. Dahil, tandaan, isip plus syaga equals Mahdali. I'll see you next week. Isip plus syaga equals Mahdali.